Well, we're back with you here on the Market Day Report. I'm Marlon Bowling with you, your tour guide to the ag commodities. As we dive into our grain update for you, well, I tell you what, there is a lot of weakness here early this year in the grain complex. We had weakness yesterday to start out the year. We wondered if we would get a bounce today. Well, let's take a look at the corn market and you tell me what you think. I don't see it. Uh, March corn down 14 cents again today. We're at 656 and a half. Only two little ticks from our low of the day now. We're off of our overnight high by 15 cents. December corn down 11 at 595 and three quarters. So all kinds of pressure in the corn market. Soybeans started out higher this morning and now they have gone lower. March down a penny at 1491 and a quarter. And let's check out that new crop November contract as well. See what it's doing. Uh, right now it's trading two and three quarters lower at 1394 and a quarter. So now well below that $14 benchmark here on the soybeans. Now on the wheat in Chicago, you have March down 25 and three quarters. This is getting quite severe. Uh, 749 and three quarters now is the last trade. So now we're under seven and a half dollars. In Kansas City, we the March contract at 841 and a half. That's down 27 and three quarters cents. Yikes. In Minneapolis, you have March down 11 and three quarters at 907 and a half. And can the cotton market come through unscathed? No. You have March cotton down 114 points at 82 cents even. December down 111. And it's under 80 cents at 79.77. I have Todd Bubba Horwitz with us. Uh, he's with BubbaTrading.com. He's in Las Vegas this morning. And Todd, this is uh, getting kind of severe on the sell-off on some of these grains. Day two. We've only had two trading days here this year. What does that mean anyway? I wouldn't go right. I wouldn't go right to severe, uh, but but again, it, it's ugly and it it doesn't make a lot of sense, Marlon. You know, there's so many reasons to believe they should be going higher. It, it almost feels like someone's trying to keep the pressure on, uh, and it, it's almost like they're going to starve us as we go forward. Like they're going to there isn't enough there is not enough food. Okay, but yet prices have been you know stable. I mean, if you look at a longer term chart, they haven't gone too far, right? So it's it's really interesting, but again, it is the first week of the new year, and it is still a very quiet week as the regular markets, the equities are waiting for the jobs number on Friday. I think I think we'll have a better tale of the story when we look at it next week. But something certainly does smell funny, and we all know about stepping in something that does. All right, uh, Todd. When we look at December corn, uh, and let me bring up a uh, December chart here. Just to uh, see what the price is, we're at five ninety six. So now we're under six dollars by several cents. Are you willing to just be a little more patient now before you start doing much marketing at that level? You may have lost Todd's connection there. Uh, wondered about that. All right, uh, let's take a look at the outside market that he was just referring to on the equity markets here, sure. and we'll uh, see what it's doing right now on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. You know, the nearby March futures, they are trading 66 points higher, now 67 higher. We're at 33,345. Uh, the U.S. dollar index value today on the March contract, currently down 267 points. We're at 104.045, so a little bit weaker there. But the big story today has been the crude oil market, and it's just getting pounded on relentlessly. We have February down $3.41. And we're at 73.52 per barrel, and now 73.50 per barrel. Remember, the administration had said they were going to start refilling the reserve around that $70 area. Well, we're within a stone's throw. What are they going to do? So anyway, the market is uh, really taking it on the chin here today in the energy trade. Uh, we'll take a break right here, and then we'll come back and we'll talk a little about livestock right after this. Come on back. <music> 